what's good everybody this is your boy back with another video and today we're going to be looking at how to draw the eyes or rather how i draw the eyes and this video is going to be a part of a four part video series where i take a look at of course how to draw the eyes how to draw the nose and how to draw the mouth and then the fourth video is going to be putting that all together on the face, making sure the proportions are correct. So make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss those videos. This format, I already pre-recorded this video. So I'm just going to be taking y'all through play by play and explaining some of my methods um, and some of the thinking that that I had going into this. So we'll get right into it. So first of all, <laughs> right, that was quick. <laughs> first of all, so I draw this straight line. So number one, you're going to need a, a reference. If you're trying to draw the eye realistic as possible, you're going to need a reference. That's, that's one thing. So I draw a straight line because, you know, when you draw an eye, the corners of the eye, they match up. These two corners of the eye, usually they in the same, they fall upon the same line, right? So I draw a straight line as a guideline so I don't get those uh, ends of the eyes crooked or off or whatever. All right. So now, so now what I'm doing is this right here is the top of the eye, top half of the eye. And so I basically just really just draw an angle. This is like a 45 degree angle. Slight, man, it's a slight curve in it, but I just draw a 45 degree angle, drew a straight line right drew a line parallel to my middle line and then drew another uh 45 degree angle and then went straight down and so you want to you want to how i do it i don't want to say how you should do it but how i do it is i simplify stuff I want to break this eye down to its simplest shapes. And what this, what this is going to do is this is going to have you or make you have the ability to replicate, replicate your actual drawings. You're going to be able to draw things over and over and over again with the same quality. So that bottom, I basically just, like I said, basically those are like a little bit less than 45 degrees. But I, I basically just put two angles. This is just basically two angles. Now, like I said before, I could have actually drew all of the curves, took the time to draw all of the curves and all of the intricate S curves within the eye, the C curves within the eye. But the, the thing about doing it like that is you're going to mess up no matter how good you are or whatever. It's going to be harder to actually draw those S curves in one goal, two goals, three goals, or whatever. It's going to be harder to do that. So I just draw it in the simplest shape, simplest form, and then I carve out like a, kind of like a sculpture, right? Think about it as a, like a sculpture. Simplest shape, a block, a sculpture start, starts off as a block, 
and then you start to chisel you know you start to chisel down so erase that guideline okay so what I did there I took those two angles I took those two angles and I put a slightly curved line between those two lines right and now it's curved now that line that those two 45 degree angles or we'll say 30 degree maybe 35 degree angles I took those two angles at the bottom half of the eye and I just simply put a line uh, in between a curved line in between it and now it's starting to look more like the shape of an eye and then I'm gonna do the same thing up top just just connect it put that curve in it and I'm just redefining the shape see look at me again redefining the shape Now I'm going to draw the iris. And then I find out, I look at it, I assess it, and I say, okay, this eye is a little bit too long. It's a little bit too long. So I need to shorten this eye up. So... You saw I put that, I put that line in front of, oh, let me go back. So I put that line right there, right in front of that. Cause like I say, we measured that. So we, we know that the, these corners of the eye fall on one line. It, it falls on one line. So we know that. So all I got to do is take what a, take this corner put a notch right there and then start drawing it from there so continue and now I'm drawing the lids the eyelids on the outside of the eye And this right here is the, um, I would say the beginning of like the eyebrow, right under the, the eyebrow, the eyebrow region. And so, you know, when, when doing an eye study or drawing the eyes or whatever, you'll find out that the things around, usually the things around, really whatever you're drawing, the things around it affect the actual thing <laughs> right so the the eyebrows the lower the lower part of the eye like right down right down here or right down here really affect how the overall eye looks so let's continue I'm just blocking in, blocking in some color, making it darker. Blocking in some color. Seeing how it looks, testing it out. Do it need to be darker? Do it need to be lighter? And, you know, we're just in the process. We're in the process of building, right? And so now... I would say this this part right here the eye is the most intricate part. That part of the eye is the iris part is the most intricate part of the eye. And those little thingies, I don't know what they call um 
if y'all know what those things inside the eye are actually called, put it in the comments below. That's that's the question for the day, right? What are those things in your eyes, right? If you know, put it down in the comments below because I don't know what they're called. And so right now, like I say, I'm just going through and trying to put those fine details within the eye. And here's another thing that we have to understand. So right now we're, we're at the building stage. So right now we at the building stage, we kind of at the foundation stage of, of this iris or, or whatever. A lot of times I, I used to do this. I'll judge this drawing uh, like it's a finished drawing. I'll judge it like it's a finished drawing, but you know, you, you can't judge it like that because you're building, you're not actually finished. You're building up on it. So, don't judge it too hard because you know you're still in the construction phase of the eye. So, of course, it's not going to look like it's finished. And, you know, each stage, uh, you go through this ugly stage. If you listen to some of my videos, I talk about going through the ugly stages of, of actually drawing. And, you know, a lot of times we quit drawings too fast because it looks ugly, but you're at the construction phase, you know, like if somebody was building a house and they built the foundation and they started to put the wood and, and wood and stuff up, you wouldn't say like, you wouldn't look at that house and be like, man, that house is ugly. Like, uh, I'm going to stop building it because it, it don't look right. Of course it don't look right because you're not through building it. So <laughs> you, you have to understand that about uh, drawing it, really anything. So I'm drawing more of those, those things that I don't, I don't know what, what they're actually called. And like I say, that that iris part, it, it's the most uh, intricate part of the actual eye. And you can spend all day, you can spend all day on this, on, on, on just that, the, the iris part. You can spend all day on that. So I'm working on the lids. Just drop it down color. Drop it down color. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Fast forward a little bit. So now it looks like I'm cleaning it, cleaning it up a little bit. This one a little bit. Just shading the the lids. Those are the lids of the eyes. Skip it. And I'm gonna be having um I'm gonna be putting out a version of this video with just just a little light music. Uh, without me talking so y'all can really see the whole process I think this video is about video is about 20 minutes it's about a 20 minute video so uh, I'm gonna be putting that out so let's fast forward a little bit fast forward a little bit more 
more shady and, and, and like i say this it's a process it's a process it doesn't look good you know five minutes into the drawing 10 minutes into the drawing and it, it, it's not gonna look realistic um I think I spent, I think I spent about maybe two hours, maybe two hours, or maybe like an hour. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I know maybe it was a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes or something like that on, on this actual drawing. And I can spend much, much more time. Cause as I'm looking at it, um, well, this is not the finish one, but um, when it get to the end, I see stuff that you know that can be uh, approved upon. But you know, for educational purposes, I think uh, I think I did enough for y'all to um, actually understand, you know, how to how to draw it and how to shade it and just really the process that you go through skip it and i like using the type of blenders that i use i like using like a a rough blender when I blend I don't I don't like those I don't really like those smooth uh, blends that have your it, it had it, it have your um, your paint or, or whatever you um, uh, coloring with it have it looking like just kind of blurry like smooth and blurry uh, I, I don't really like that look I like the the rough kind of it, it, it looks uh, it looks almost like I, I, I drew with a pencil almost so I, I like that look so now I'm just doing more shading more shading uh, well, let me go back. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm going back over the iris once again, right? Once again, I'm going back over it. I, I saw something that I'm like, okay, that's a little bit too dark. I need to go in and lighten that up a little bit. And the advantages of actually drawing in black and white, because I, I know y'all probably wonder, like, why, why are you drawing in color? Why are you just drawing in black and white? Well, the advantages of drawing in black and white is that you get to really recognize the values. So you, you you're kind of, you're kind of studying, you're studying the eye, you're shading the eye, so you're practicing drawing the eye, you're practicing on your shading, and then also you're practicing on your values, on your perception of the values. And so that's that's gonna be good, especially when, when you try to draw in color and really getting the values right, because you know, usually when you get those values right, you can make you can make it any type of color. You can I can make this a purple eye or a green eye or whatever, as long as the values um, look right. The eye is whatever you're drawing is gonna look right as far as you know the color scheme. And so I'm just 
going back over those those things again, whatever <laughs> whatever those things in the eye is, um, and just going back over it. And this is how you get like kind of like hyper realistic. You just keep going over it. You draw a little bit, go over it, layers on top of layers, details on top of details on top of details. And, you know, I don't know how they do it. You know, hats off to the those uh, hyper realistic artists. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I, I wonder how much time they spend actually on some of their on some of their art. And so, like I say, I'm just going back over it. Um, and as you can see, it starts to it starts to look starts to look very starts to look a little little realistic. I'm like, okay, okay, I see you I'm doing the little highlights. Doing a little highlights. Now I'm drawing the veins within the actual eye. These these are details. Details on top of details. This is what once again this is what makes um, your drawing more believable, more realistic. The values, the shadows, the light. Um Let's fast forward a little bit. Now I'm drawing the uh, eyelashes. And I did pretty good on the eyelashes. Usually the eyelashes on my Achilles heel, for some reason, they're, I know, they're just lines, but you know, everybody has their own struggles that, you know, they have to deal with. And eyelashes, or one of my struggles so but anyway I drew these these eyelashes pretty good let's fast forward a little bit fast forward a little bit then I got these bottom Yeah, and, and 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 notice when you when you have your values, you know, correct, and you start to put in those highlights. Those highlights they they, they hit different, they feel different, right? Those those whites, these whites right here, because I'm looking at it in the in the monitor. These whites right here, this right here, and then this one down here i think i'm gonna go back over it later on and also this edge right here i mean it it it, it just hits it hits a little bit different when you got everything around it working in concert with with each other so that's shading we just add just add layers making it lighter making it darker adjusting it and so right here right here I'm um, adding more shadows add more shadows to the eye darkening it up a little bit Blended it, blending that thing in, blending that thing in, skip that, skip that, 
Sit there a little bit. Sit there a little bit. And so there we go. So we basically, basically through with that. Let me hit that. And then pull up. This is the drawing right here. And so I wanted to to go over one more thing. So I hope you guys got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.